So this is Ephesians chapter 2. And you have quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others are. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace and ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye, being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished his flesh, the enmity, even the law, of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make himself of twain, or to make himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by, by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built up upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are build, build it together for an inhabitation of God through the Spirit. And I'm going to go on to chapter 3. For this, I Paul, for this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, 
which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, that is, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, whom, who, I, who am I less than least of all saints? Is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles an unsearchable riches of Christ? And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from beginning of the world hath been hit, hidden hath been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church of the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he proposed, or which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith faith of him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this For this cause I I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, and ye being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all of the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all of the ages, world without end. Amen. And I just wanted to say I really like the part right there where it just said to know to to be able to comprehend that rooted that rooted by faith in Christ, that love, that you can comprehend it with all the rest of the saints. What is the breadth of that love, the length of that love, the depth of that love, and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye may be filled with all of the fullness of God, so I think that's an important one because it's kind of about discernment, I, I feel, of that love. And uh, that when we pray for God's own belly inside of us of discernment, I think it's a really cool thing that can happen there because anything that we're denying of, of Christ, those things can be added to us. Where if you're without end, like in a situation, you can't reach your pen and paper. You can't reach. You can't be able to write things down that you need to write write down right there on a sec spot. You can pray in the leaves that you need from the Bible to be able to hold hold that memory for as long as possible, and you can pray that memory be locked in with God and. I was so broken because it was mere hours later I was 
falling apart and even though I had the inclination at that point the next day my memories was wiped so I believe that these are these are really important passages and just knowing that love because if you know that love then you also know when someone's not being forthright with you in that love and that is the love that is of the Lord is to know that depth to know that height you see and I don't think that praying in a fervent way for that to be added by God into our bellies um, I don't believe that it does it doesn't go anywhere else it, it does go into your bellies in discernment and then and 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 in through fervor and prayer and just the fact that the Lord wants to bless us the Lord wants to keep us and that it's his it's by his grace that that we are saved so it's not by work but it's the fact that we're out here dealing with certain things at times so I believe it's just an important message to be shared in Ephesians here and there, there's there's more I, I love Ephesians I love the book of Matthew obviously my name's Matthew so I, I got to know that one the, the best <laughs> growing up and it's an important it's really it's really good you guys and then there's also um, Joseph, St. Joseph, and then which ones also I read most of. St. Luke I like a lot. It's got a lot of red red letter, I mean the red letter edition. And then I love Acts. I love the whole Bible, but especially the New Testament where it's talking about these kinds of things that can help us, I believe, more in, in times right now that we're living in. So, just be of discerned spirit in, in Jesus Christ throughout all ages, without end, like it says. So, I hope that you, you understand that with the love that I'm, I'm touching on here. And I just, want, I just wanted you guys to know that I, I believe it's really important parts to not to not let go to the wayside basically thank you